What's up guys, it's me. Today I'm going to teach you how to do impossibles. To do an impossible, you're going to want to know how to do a three shove and I'd say pressure flip slightly. So to do an impossible, I have my front foot way up, sitting at least on the back two bolts over here. And for my back foot, I have I have it in this corner, and my big toe, it's kind of like pressing, pressing down on this edge over here, like right on the concave. Now when you pop the impossible, you're going to want to have your body weight leaning mostly on your back leg in kind of like a 20-80 kind of ratio. And there's a good reason for this. And the reason is because when you go to do the scoop, all you just have to do is when you pop the ollie, you just lift your front foot out of the way. And what happens is when you pop it, the board, it just goes straight up like that. So popping it with that kind of like body weight ratio, 20-80, and you just kind of pop it straight up. You've got that board leverage and it goes really vertical and it allows you to kind of like push your foot into the board and it wraps around your foot. And the most handy thing about it is because your big toe is like weighted on this side of the board, not only does it go all the way up, but it also goes to the side of it as well. So as you pop it down, it's like to the side and then all you just got to do is push your back foot into the board and then you just do kind of like a circular motion. It does kind of help if you just do it from the side and you just do it like that. I mean, getting that kind of like consistent motion, it gives you a good feel for the impossible. And it really, really helps a lot with how an impossible should feel on your foot. But then when it comes to doing it moving, um, you're going to want to lean back on your leg and then you're just going to kind of want to jump back, put pressure on your big toe and like wrap it around. Because the big toe pressuring thing, that's like the key to getting the ball wrapping around your foot because the most common mistake is making it do a three shove instead. And I just want you guys to remember that if you do a three shove instead of an impossible, it's okay. Because that shows that you can do the full 360 rotation of the impossible. All that you just need to learn to do is to make it actually wrap around your back foot. And the only way you can do that is if you put pressure on your big toe as you go to do the pop and you just do it right in the concave or in the corner because that makes it pop to the side. Once it's at that point, all you just got to do is just push it through and just do like a circular motion with your back leg. I mean, again, you can just practice it, no comply, just standing here like that. That gives, that helps you get a really good feel for it. But remember, when you're doing it ollie and in motion, you want to have your front foot way at the top and you want to lean on your back leg like a lot and then you just want to as you pop you want to press down and to the side you want to move your front foot out of the way and then quickly do the impossible land roll away and feel like Rodney Mullen so nice There you go guys, that was my trick tip for the impossible. Shout out to this glorious man for filming me. And this man for giving all the opinions of my impossibles as I tried filming this. I hope this kind of helps you out. And if you have any ideas or any suggestions for any more trick tips and stuff, let me know and I'll try and get around to making them. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Be sure to subscribe.